hey there welcome back friends in this video we will again talk about the for loop so let's get started first of all i have missed one small little thing in our last video which uh, i should have covered in the last video itself but uh, first of all let us check how we can iterate over a string and then we will check the tuple unpacking thing so something interesting is coming up so in here for example uh, let us create a variable by the name of name and the name of our brand as a steady easy pretty simple right and now for example we wish to iterate over a string it is possible when it comes to python using for loop right and uh, indeed what is a string a string is nothing but a character array it contains array of characters right so it is very simple and easy to iterate over a string the way is like this for letter in name colon print letter pretty simple right let me run this and we will get our name the brand name single character per line pretty standard pretty simple right and indeed even if we copy or we give the string directly even that is possible for example i give my name in here that's perfectly all right and here is the iterations here are every individual character in a line so this is very convenient very easy when it comes to python and this is how we can iterate over string now coming back to the original point which is tuple unpacking now friends when it comes to uh, python when it comes to data data visualization data analysis artificial intelligence is something where python is heavily used and we need to deal with data many a time whenever we extract data we may get data little complex in nature for example in here uh, let me create a variable my list and in here we have a list like 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6 comma 7 comma 8 comma 9 comma 10 now in here we have these 10 values which is okay and these are independent values but sometime it may happen that we have tuples inside uh, what inside a list or inside a directory or inside anything right so these kind of things are pretty usual and pretty possible and a tuple is something which is widely used in python and you would be able to see the tuple binding and these kind of data structures hugely in python later down the line when you will grow old under python so in here for example i uh, run this program pardon me if i show you the content then it will be like uh, this so we have a list and individual content in the list are tuples even if i show you the length length of the list then individual tuple is a specific element in the list so there are like five elements it is showing five elements now for example we make use of a for loop for example for item in my list colon print in this case what we get we get individual tuple but uh, for the user we we may want individual element extracted from this tuple directly how we can do that now in here something known as tuple unpacking is very useful in here we can depict the tuples structure in here for example we can type in for example a comma b and uh, it could be inside pair of parentheses so we are simply symbolizing every tuple from the list but in here we need to display a comma b a comma b now this will give us a proper result right now in here we can easily make out that now these these elements are not tuple these are individual element as a result we can do it like this a let me copy this and p so indeed what we are doing we are unpacking the tuples inside a list 
right getting my point how the unpacking is done so this is very flexible very uh, useful under python how easily we can extract information how easily we can manipulate the data structures right so this is very convenient now friends in here we can again get rid of these uh, parentheses even that is okay now what happens what happens if uh, in one of the tuple there are no two values for example let me update this right so the last element the last object is a tuple but uh, only with the uh, one object let me run this and uh, if now i run this then there would be a syntax error cannot unpack non iterable int object so take a note of it how things are so the consistency of the tuples is expected then only the tuple unpacking is possible else we will get a syntax error right now moving forward let us quickly check how to iterate over dictionary so let us create a very simple dictionary so it would be like my dictionary equals and the syntax is very simple we will make use of uh, braces and uh, it would be like one colon one comma two colon two and finally uh, let us add couple of more like three colon three let us add one more four colon four this looks good let me run this all right now let us iterate over this dictionary so it would be like uh, for item in my dictionary colon print item and once we run them here is the output now take a note of it that we are only getting what we are only getting the keys keys are the way to get the item now this is okay uh, there is a way to get the key value pair or uh, uh, the value the way could be for example my dictionary and uh, we can pass on key in here for example we tap in key and we give key in here and we run this then we can extract the values now in order to extract key value pair there is a yet another way let me undo the changes here we go uh, in here we have something known as items let me show you this this particular thing so items will give us what items will give us all the items the key value pair let me show you oops it is a method here we go so this this method will return the key value pair but in the form of tuple right as the form the form the way is tuple we can easily make out we can easily extract the key value pair and let me show you how so it would be like key comma value we can make use of the parenthesis but this is uh, optional and we can print key and value now definitely you can format things uh, based on your convenient but this is how we can get the key value pair very easily so this is a yet another example of tuple unpacking all right now moving forward let me also show you one small little thing for example we create a set right so the set will contain for example 1 3 5 2 right so there are a couple of elements in the set let me run this line of code oops we have forgot to add the uh, equals to sign here is the output now let me run the for loop in here so it would be like for item in my set colon and let me print item let me run this and uh, this is the way how we can extract the information from the set now take a note of one thing we cannot we cannot access a set directly using the index let me show you so we cannot access it like this it will simply give us the syntax error but whenever we would like to 
extract information from the set we would like to iterate over a set for loop is the way to go all right so that's it for today i hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching have a nice day and take care